and today is Father's in Education Day. I have to go to this teacher appreciation event at the Perez Art Museum downtown. Good morning, welcome back to my classroom. Today is Thursday, May 10th, and today is Fathers in Education Day. And that is the bell letting me know that the students are coming in in five minutes. So I haven't been able to put on my makeup yet because I came in super early this morning. I was in my classroom at 7.15, so an hour ago, exactly an hour ago right now. And instead of putting on my makeup, which is what I do in the morning when I get here while watching my favorite YouTubers, I started doing the post-its for my door because I took post-its to do at home, but I only ended up doing post-its for my homeroom students because that is my random act of kindness for today, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So it has taken me an hour to do over 20 post-its and I am not done yet. I think I have about 25, 30 more to go. So I haven't been able to replenish my door this morning yet, but I will. So this morning as the students are working in my classroom, I will be able to finish those post-its and put them up and in a way I'm glad that I'm putting them up after the students are all in their classrooms because there are so many students outside in the hallway right now and I already overheard them saying oh man the post-its are all gone or where are the post-its and I think some of them were knocking on my door too but I was busy doing a speed through of me creating some of the post-its so I'm going to show you that right now. So those are the posts that I was able to do this morning, but right now I am getting ready to let my students in soon and I will finish the rest of the post-its that are gonna go on the door along with finishing the post-its that are going to go for my afternoon class because my random act of kindness for today for my students is that I am leaving their favorite post-its that I have put on my door that they maybe were not able to get at one point or another. I'm putting them on their desk this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. But before I do, I want to show you what those post-its are that I created last night. So let me do that right now. So these are all the different post-its that I was able to create for my students, my homeroom students. And what they did is the following. So yesterday I passed around this paper that I put. I put their first names on there and they wrote what are some of their favorite post-its. Now some of them have more than one favorite. So sometimes I was able to combine two like the Yoda quotes, but usually I just chose one. So, these are the post-its that I was able to make for my homeroom students. So, be a pineapple, do or do not, there is no try. Today you're an eagle, your wings are made of awesome. Another pineapple, may the force be with you. May the force be with you. Making sure they're not stuck together. Okay, be a mermaid and make waves. I am one with the force and the force is with me. Dive deep for the treasure that you seek. Be a mermaid and make waves. Your focus determines your reality. This is from Qui-Gon Jinn in Star Wars Episode 1. The greatest teacher failure is and do or do not, there is no try. So I was able to put two because they're short in one posted. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. May the force be with you. 
Another may the force be with you. The greatest teacher of failure is. Another pineapple. And be you, do you, boo. So those are the post-its that I'm going to put on my students' desk right now before they come in for today. So that is my random act of kindness that I am doing for my students today. Let me go ahead and put those post-its on the student's desk and I will probably catch up with you sometime during lunchtime. I have to finish post-its, I have to put on my makeup and, or maybe not, I don't know. Let's see what time says, right? I'll see you later. All right, so as you can see, the students have their post-its on their desk and they just came in. So I hope that they're happy with what they got. So this is my random act of kindness for today for you. Aww. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm going to put the post-its on our door since I wasn't able to do it this morning because I was finishing the post-its that were supposed to be on this door. So they're all done and I'm going to do a neat design with them. So I first want to show you the before. So this is our before for the door. All right, so I wanted to show you what I did with the door and the post-its. Now I know that the rest of the door looks empty, but I really wanted to do this pixelated heart that I saw on Pinterest. I mean the shape, not the post-its, because those are the ones that I created and that you just saw in the previous clips. But I had to put it in the lower part of the door because if not, it wouldn't have fit right in the middle. Now I'm thinking about adding some filler post-its over here, but I don't know if I'll have time. I mean, I can try, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, this is our little heart. And it's a pixelated heart with all the post-its that I just made this morning. But this is a heart that I created, a smaller heart, and then I kind of made it just black and white, similar to the ones that are at the bottom. The bottom ones are in color, of course, and these are in black and white. I had the heart set up better inside of the classroom when I was doing the trial, and now I, I don't know. It doesn't look the same, but at least I'm happy with the heart. So yeah, I drive. It looks fine to me. I work in the IB, IT department with multiple people. For any technical issues, we basically have to fix that problem or troubleshoot it to help them. One of my favorite hobbies is going to the movies. Oh, I like it. I like it. Big comic book guy. My show of hands for here like superheroes. I do have a YouTube channel. I want to start creating more content, but I do do movie reviews. Um, that's one of my favorite hobbies. Nice. I am a technician. I work for a property. My hobby is take videos. I'm starting with my YouTube channel. Today, after this class, I'm going to send this video to, to my YouTube channel. Sorry. Hi. I just want to let you know, guys, never is late for help the people so i'm gonna random acts of kindness i'm gonna yes. show you this short video i prepared actually maria was the part more is most important in this video so you can see it well cool there comes a time when we need a certain call and we have to help every time Very important, we have to build. All right, so I finally finished the post-it notes for my afternoon class, which is my random act of kindness for them, since I already gave it to my homeroom class and I was finishing up their notes. So these are their notes. And I kind of did something that I should have done with my morning class, which I put the names of the people that these notes belong to, so I know who they correspond to. So. These are the notes that I made for them, so I'm just gonna just shuffle through them 
so that you can see them. The eagle ones were a popular favorite. So a lot of them having an eagle posted. And the mermaid ones as well. And, oops, that one got folded. Pineapple. These were a favorite too. And yeah, so now I'm just gonna pass them out to all these kiddos. So yeah, I just passed out the notes to the students and what do you say? Thank you! Did you like them? Yeah! All right, so I know that they're tired because they just finished their part one of their I Ready reading test. So now we have about 50 minutes left of school, so we're gonna watch Star Wars. Yay! All right, it's the end of the day, and would you look at that? I finally got my makeup on, and I know you must be wondering, but it's the end of the day. What's the purpose of putting on your makeup? If it's almost the end of your blog, well, I am actually forcing myself, because I'm very tired, but I'm forcing myself to go to this teacher appreciation event at the Perez Art Museum downtown. So I'm going to go there. The event is from five to eight and I have to hurry up and get out and do that because it's already 425. So we had a really good day today. As a filler activity, I had the students work on an advice book for future fourth graders. I'll show you quickly what that is before I go. And I also wanna show you my outfit of the day. So let me set up the camera so I can show you my outfit and then I'll show you the little advice column and I'm thinking of maybe taking you along with me to the art museum activity. So I'm not gonna sign off just yet. Let me show you my outfit of the day. All right, so this is my teacher outfit of the day. As you can see, I am wearing some dress pants that I got at Marshall's. I'm wearing this flowy top that came from Ross and I'm wearing the same pointed and Klein flats that I talked about in my blog yesterday. So this is a very comfortable outfit it's my teacher outfit of the day and it's also perfect for tonight's event for the teacher appreciation at the museum so right now i'm just going to show you the advice book and then we're going to go on our way to the museum so this is the little advice book that i actually got some time ago from rachel friedrich at subhub and that's the address where you can find this i think it was a free resource and I just copied it in booklet format, but the pages are actually eight and a half by 11 on the actual document. So I had the students put fourth grader here and their first name. And then when they open it up, they have this page that says, this year we learned about. So they write five things. My favorite thing we learned was, and they draw a picture related to that favorite thing. It's really important too, because, and then a picture related to that. And the last two pages is this year you get two and then they draw a picture related to that and then they fill this out. The most fun part is, the scariest part is, the funniest part is, the worst part is, and the best part is. So that's basically the booklet. It's very simple and the students, once they were finished, they were asked to color so they're not all done. And pardon my hand, but that's what happens with all the post-its that I created today, which you saw in the speed throughs. All right, so now let me get all my stuff gathered up and we're gonna head to the museum. Okay, one more thing before we go. So today I was really surprised by my fifth grader. Well, fifth graders this year, but last year they were my fourth graders. They came to my classroom and they delivered all these letters of appreciation. Oh my goodness, I feel so loved and appreciated. And I can't wait to read through all of them. And I'll probably share a couple of them tomorrow in Friday's vlog. But I really, really love receiving these. And I kind of read two of them already. And they just made my day, just those two. But there's a pile of letters here. And I can't wait to get through them. I also had a student come in with my favorite gummy bears as a teacher appreciation gift. Thank you, thank you so much. And I also had another student drop off this beautiful bag. And inside is a little scrolled up letter, which I am dying to read. And a little owl that you can squeeze the tummy and the cup that the owl is in says awesome teacher oh i feel the love i feel appreciated thank you thank you so much my dear students
All right, so I have officially made it to the Perez Art Museum and I'm going to go in and check in because I did register ahead in advance, but check out this view. Now, if you look behind me, you may recognize that from my 5K superintendent's run. That is where the finish line was. So I am right next to where we raced and we started and we finished the race. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and maybe I'll vlog a little bit about the inside and what I find there. So I'll see you soon. All right, so now that I have registered, I'm gonna go outside where the happy hour is. And because I'm one of the first 50 teachers, parking is free, which that is about $12 saved right there. So I'm gonna go outside and enjoy my time. This is so cool. Like, check that out. We just walked through that, and that was amazing. I feel like a little child. I'm having so much fun. Yay! I thought I wasn't gonna be able to eat any nitrogen ice cream, but this is vegan! The strawberry sorbet, which I just showed you, and I'm so excited. Um, as you can see, this is a beautiful place. Look at the view behind me.
I mean, I live here. This is amazing. So I think this is where I'm going to sign off the vlog because I'm going to enjoy the rest of the time here and then I'll be heading home after this. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. See you tomorrow.